Now that you understand how to use the Flexaseal FMS and Flexaseal FMS Advanced Odor Control, we will provide an overview of the clinical evidence available that may have assisted your organization in selecting the Flexaseal brand of fecal management systems. Diarrhea commonly occurs in intensive care units and may contribute to skin breakdown, which may lead to pressure ulcers, wound contamination, and transmission of nosocomial infections, such as C. difficile. A clinical study involving 42 patients from seven U.S. hospitals was performed to evaluate the safety and performance of the Flexaseal FMS in subjects with diarrhea and incontinence. This study was published in July 2007 in the American Journal of Critical Care. The primary objective of the study was to demonstrate the safety of the device in hospitalized patients who were experiencing diarrhea and incontinence. Secondary objectives were evaluating Flexaseal FMS performance and ease of use. At each site, the investigator or site coordinator was responsible for selecting patients that met the eligibility criteria. This study was approved by the local institutional review board at each clinical site. If you are interested in more information about the eligibility and exclusion criteria, please refer to the full article. The device could be used in patients for a maximum of 29 days in accordance with the package insert. If it was determined that it was no longer clinically indicated, the device was removed earlier. Endoscopic proctoscopy was performed on the first 11 patients from the intensive care unit to assess the condition of the rectal mucosa prior to the insertion of the device. The study protocol included endoscopy after removal of the device. Eight patients had follow-up endoscopy at the end of the study. Rectal mucosa was healthy after FMS use for all eight patients who had baseline and follow-up endoscopy. These endoscopic results and a review of adverse events in the first 11 patients indicated no safety concerns. An additional 31 patients were enrolled from ICUs and acute care sites for whom endoscopic proctoscopy was not required. Device use ranged from 1 to 14 days, with an average of 5.6 days usage. 83% of patients retained the device until it was removed. 70 of the 200 daily caregiver reports included the responses from the 17 patients who were deemed alert and responsive and indicated no discomfort, pain, burning, or irritation in 52 reports. In this study, the key findings regarding the safety and performance of Flexaseal FMS showed that rectal mucosa was healthy after Flexaseal FMS use for all patients who had a baseline and follow-up endoscopy. 92% of patients had their skin condition maintained or improved. 83% of caregivers reported Flexaseal FMS improved fecal incontinence control, was practical, caregiver and patient friendly, time efficient, and efficacious. Fecal incontinence is a problem among hospitalized patients and can increase the risk of pressure ulcers and infections, resulting in extending their hospital stay. Pressure ulcer prevention is an important issue in acute care. To date, Flexaseal FMS systems are widely used at over 1,800 acute care hospitals in the United States. Flexaseal FMS is both patient and caregiver friendly. And since it also helps prevent skin breakdown and spread of infection, such as C. difficile, it may minimize the length of hospital stays. This may lead to reduced treatment costs and patient recovery time. Caregivers can trust Flexaseal FMS will provide them with a safe and effective means of helping their patients with fecal incontinence.